Hi everyone, welcome back to another What I Ate in a Day video. I'm going to show you everything I ate in one day. Starting with my morning movement, I love to do some sort of form of movement every single morning for about six days in the week because I do work a sedentary job. I'm at my computer desk for five to six hours in the day and I really find it's so important and vital for me to move my body in the morning for at least 30 minutes to 60 minutes doing some sort, some sort of movement activity or exercise that really revitalizes and energizes my body and gets me really excited and ready for the day. On this particular day, I did a very long vinyasa yoga flow. I create my own yoga flows by memory, by creativity, by whatever uh, my body feels like doing in the moment in time. I just tune in with myself, step onto the mat, and just flow along to however my body feels best. But if you are a beginner to yoga, I highly recommend following along to free yoga tutorial flow videos on YouTube. That is exactly where I started. I did that for about two, three, four months until I worked up enough confidence and knowledge of yoga and the practice itself. So then I was able to just flow along and create my own little flows myself. So this is just a little snippet of my morning practice. All of these clips here that I'm showing you, they are sped up times two. You can skip ahead to 2 minutes 17 and get straight into what I ate on this day. After my morning yoga flow movement, I then had my delicious chocolate banana ice cream for breakfast. It was six frozen bananas chopped up. I added that into our food processor and I added two tablespoons of cocoa powder and then I just blended that up until it was creamy and smooth. I actually make my banana ice cream with three different devices depending on the consistency and the result that I want to achieve. I make it with either the Ninja Food Processor, our Vitamix Blender, or the Yonanas Machine. I've been on a kick lately of using the Ninja Food Processor because I find that the food processor creates an ice cream texture that is a lot more light and fluffier and airy because it whips it up a lot longer. So if you're looking for something that's really light and fluffy, kind of like pudding, a whip type pudding, this one is definitely for you. So then for my toppings, I added frozen raspberries and frozen strawberries and then I also lastly sprinkled on some buckwheat groats. Adding a lot of different frozen fruits and berries and other type of textures onto the top of the ice cream adds a wonderful diversity to your banana ice cream or smoothie bowl. And I have been loving these buckwheat groats on top of my ice cream as well because it adds such a beautiful crunch. For my lunch on this day, I was going to be out of the house, so I wanted to show you a great example of some particular foods that I like to bring out, usually apples or oranges or clementines and dates. They're my favorite on-the-go foods because they're so easy. So I took the last three, unfortunately, the last three medjool dates, I added them into a little container and brought that along with me with eight little clementines as well. Then moving on to my dinner, I first started off chopping up the buttercup squash and I really, really love this squash. It's really nice and dense, but also very sweet. So I chop that into chunks, I poke holes in my sweet potato and I bake them all into this little toaster oven here. The Hawaiian purple sweet potato takes a lot longer to bake. Usually it's about an hour and a half and the squash usually takes about an hour. So once it hits that mark, then I add the buttercup squash later on. To make my salad, I always add in two to three different types of leafy greens, and especially dark leafy greens, they're my favorite, to give a good diversity of nutrients. So I started off by pulling apart the kale from the stems, and I gave it a really good massage to break down the fibers a little bit, because I do prefer eating my kale raw, and this definitely helps with digestion and absorbing the nutrients better. 
The second leafy green I added was some spinach. And the third leafy green I added was this red leaf lettuce. I also added in some alfalfa sprouts. One stalk of celery chopped up and a good serving size of purple cabbage or red cabbage if you want to call it that. And I love adding this because it adds such a wonderful crunch along with some shredded carrot. Again, another really good crunch. I sprinkled over one teaspoon of kelp granules, one tablespoon of ground flax seeds, and just over a cup of cooked black beans. Then for my steamed veggie component, I chopped up a few cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes and along with a few different types of mushrooms. This was two shiitake mushrooms and one white button mushroom. I also chopped up a little bit of my eggplant to throw in there as well. So I started off by adding some frozen mixed vegetables, cauliflower, broccoli, and carrot. as well as some frozen green beans. And the frozen veg takes a little bit longer to cook, so I have that cooking or steaming, if you will, for about five to 10 minutes before I then finally add in the rest of the vegetables to steam as well. Once pretty much it's all cooked, I then lastly add in the tomatoes because they don't need long at all, maybe about a minute and that's it. Once they're all cooked, all of my veggies, I then on, add that on top of my salad as well. Give it a pretty good stir to make sure everything is incorporated well. And then finally, I poured on top my dressing. This dressing here is two tablespoons of natural unsalted peanut butter and with two and a half tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Those are the two main ingredients I whisked together. And then I also added in one teaspoon of hot chili powder and one teaspoon of garlic and half a teaspoon of onion powder. Finally, I added on my nuts. And on this day, I had some chopped almonds. Adding in some nuts or seeds on the top of my salad and then mixed all the way through has been really, really wonderful. It adds such a great crunch, another depth to this salad. And again, all of the little bit of extra fats helps the absorption of the nutrients in my salad. So there you go, there's the plating with my squash and my sweet potato, and that was my day of eating. And here is the chronometer breakdown. I know you guys love to see this as well. So here's my full day of food. I ate over 2,500 calories, 75% carbs, 14% fats, 11% proteins, and I hit all of my nutrient targets. I do take a vitamin B12 supplement a few times a week, and that's about it. If you guys like these videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more if you're new here. I will see you next time.